tune in. Got to find a new instrument. Another episode of Music Lessons with Mr. Gear. Today's lesson is on melody. First, I will teach you what a melody is. Then I will teach you how melodies are made. And what makes them all different? Lastly, I will show you how melodies are used by different musicians and why. Hit the intro. Melody is the part of the song that everyone usually remembers. You could say that it's catchy. It's the part that gets stuck in your head. A melody is a series of single notes playing from one to the next. Melodies consist of two main parts. The first is the notes. The second part is the rhythm. Let's use the melody from Happy Birthday to explore why the notes and the rhythm are so important to making a melody. If I play just the rhythm of the melody of Happy Birthday and take out the notes, this is what happens. It kind of sounds like Happy Birthday. Now see what happens when I play just the correct notes of Happy Birthday with no rhythm. You get the idea that this doesn't sound much like the melody you know. Now let me play the correct rhythm and the correct notes and it should sound like happy birthday the way that we remember it. Now let's explore four different ways notes can move from one to another. These are the building blocks of creating a melody. The first way that notes can move from one to another is called steps. A great example of a song that uses steps in its melody is the beginning of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Those first few notes move from one to the next without skipping any other notes. The second way that notes can move from one to another is called skips. A great example of a song that uses skips in its melody is the national anthem of the United States of America. The first note begins here, then skips this note, goes to this one, skips this note, and then does the same thing back up. The third way that notes can move from one to another are by leaps. A great example of a song that uses a leap in its melody is Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. First note begins down here, and then leaps all the way up to this note up here. And the last way that notes can move in a song is by repeating the same note. Song is by repeating the same note. Song is by repeating the same note. And a great example of a song that uses repeated notes in its melody is Jingle Bells. Those first few notes are all the same note repeated. Most mel-
Most melodies don't rely on just one of these tools. They use all four of them to build their melody. Rhythmically, the notes in a melody can move from one to another fast or slow. Oh, you right? <laughs> The notes in a song like Silent Night move from one to another quite slow. But a piece like Eine Kleine Nacht music by Mozart, the notes move from one to another really fast. Melodies can also be as long or as short as a musician wants them to be. Let's go back to the example of Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. It's a very long melody that takes a good amount of time to completely finish, and it uses so many different notes before it's done. On the other hand, there are some melodies that are very short. Beethoven, what? Oh, you have an example? One of the best examples of a short melody comes from Beethoven. One of his most famous melodies, and possibly one of the most famous melodies of all time, comes from the beginning of his fifth symphony. The melody at the beginning consists of two notes. The first note repeats three times, and the second note plays once. Together it sounds like this. Sometimes if a melody is that short, musicians won't even call it a melody. They'll call it a motif. A motif is generally a really simple musical melody or idea that a composer can build upon to make a giant piece of music. So I think I now know what a melody is, and I think I know the tools that musicians use to make them, but why does a musician choose the notes that they choose? What makes a musician use skips or steps or leaps or repeats the way they do? How does a musician make those choices? And why? Melodies are like ideas. Sometimes a musician wants to express a feeling or an idea through their music, and using these tools will help them to achieve that. A famous composer named Chopin wrote a song called Lullaby. The idea for the melody was to be gentle, calming, and sleepy, so he used notes that move slowly from one to another using mainly steps and skips, no big jumps or leaps. Last time talking about the melody from Over the Rainbow. It's just one of the most famous melodies. And here's why. The story of Dorothy leaving home and going to Oz is demonstrated in the melody. The giant leap right at the beginning represents her traveling far from home, the first note. Then the melody moves around and goes through a bunch of different notes, just like Dorothy going to different parts of Oz. Finally, the note returns all the way back to the first note it played. Dorothy is home. Let's end with a review of everything we learned. Melody is a progression of notes that moves from one to another using rhythm and pitch. Melodies are made up of repeated notes, stepping notes, skipping notes, or leaping notes. Melodies can be long, or melodies can be short. Melodies are used in music to express an idea or a feeling depending on how they use those tools. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something about melody. Next time we're going to tackle another thing in music called harmony. Have a good... See you next time.